We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index doing a full transition from bright green bars to white with red borders on Friday last week. And now today continuing to hit white with red borders as I like to call it on 42 vision, the dip area. Now in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 7.05 a.m sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward outflows cross the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision into the bell and after the bell and put options went up 300 percent plus within an hour guys and as you see they're popping up within the screen even within the options chain some options even went higher than that if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, here we have the spy pushing downwards, trying to hold itself up here above 398, slightly below a few cents of the 400 mark. We need to break down what's going on within the charts and the inflow versus outflow indicator. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the Discord, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot at 9.50 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord and our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing that full transition, as I stated earlier in the video, from bright green bars to white with red borders, and the continuation here, trying to find support at 400 and fighting to stay above 398. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 Vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I am going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY under a bear indicator since way back here on February 14th at around 412 area. It sat there and it fought within that consolidation until it broke through support, which we were watching very carefully at 408. And here we are at the key level of that psychological level, like we've stated in previous videos of the 400 mark being broken through slightly and the bulls are fighting to try to bring it back up. And this is crucial and critical as we're right now slightly below it. And could the bears start to take over, right? So the first thing is, yes, we've been under a bear indicator since up here at 412. We've broken through key supports on the way down and We've had outflows dominating since last week on Thursday at around the 411, 412 area. Double rejection there, rejected here, fought through there, rejected there again. Outflow started dominating and it's been dominating since last week all the way up till today. Now, inflows tried to pick back up in the second half on Friday and today they were really close to the midpoint and I talked about how crucial it was 
to watch these levels on the 30 minute and even on the 15 minute and if it rejected and came right back down the first support was 403 and then 400 below that 398 and now we need to talk about what key levels to watch here as we're fighting here in the 399 and 400 area between the bulls and bears now when we go to the 15 minute and we zoom into the volatility we could see here right that we could see on the 15 minute a bear indicator since the open at 407 it was trying to fight to get higher on friday from 404 outflows crossed in the pre-market and outflows dominated all day on the 15 minute chart this is crucial and this is critical because we've hit a dip area consecutively here for several hours and days now and now it's going to be crucial to watch could it do a dead cap bounce or a continuation of rejection well the first thing i would watch here is for these inflows to pick back up and try to cross that midpoint and if the bear indicator can get canceled in the process with a possible bull indicator with any strength back up as it tries to retest resistance levels now when we zoom back out to the one hour here we could see here that the outflows are dominating they've slightly slowed down and this is some of the highest outflows that we've seen in days near the minus 716 and right now it's at minus 6.75 could it go further not guaranteed to but something to not ignore as it's getting closer to it and if it starts trying to bring itself back up it's going to be crucial to watch how quickly and how strong as a full transition has happened here on the one hour chart back to the 30 minute here outflows are dominating they're trying to bounce back up and they've been dominating since the pre-market and it's been under a bear indicator since that 411 412 area as well on thursday and now we have outflows dominating on multiple time frames right trying to come back up on the 15 minute trying to come back up on the 30 minute and the one hour is red and completely pulled away from the midpoint and even though we have a slight green here we are pretty far from the midpoint so i'm going to share with you guys the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow so the first thing is i would watch if these inflows could pick back up and cross the midpoint and not just here on the 30 minute but also on the 15 minute chart frame as it's trying to bring itself back up that's going to be crucial and if this bear indicator can get canceled in the process as it tries to pull itself back up and reflect that strength into the chart right so that's going to be crucial on the 15 minute within the volatility and on the 30 minute and in the process trying to bring up the one hour with it as well now in the key levels that we're at the first support i would watch is 398 it's fighting to stay above it there between 398 and 400 if that gets broken through the next support is 395 and then below 395 i'll be watching the 392 to 390 area and to the upside if these inflows could pick back up and start reflecting into the chart and cross the midpoint and cancel this bear indicator in the process and get a bull indicator in the process well the first resistance is 403 to 404 then above that is 408 and i'll be watching the 410 area as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money